Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a requested video which is a rundown of all the different Kristen Dior poison perfumes. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfumes, yay. Um, do subscribe if you're a perfume fan like me. Get involved in the comments down below. And of course, let me know your requests for videos down in the comments. I do try and read all your comments and I always try and do your requested videos as well. And as usual, guys, all the perfumes I mentioned will be linked down below for America and the UK, including my new dress that I'm wearing as well from H&M. So let's get into the perfumes. So basically the Poison range is, I'd say a bit of a sort of underrated range within Dior. All the attention goes on J'adore and on Miss Dior and perfume like Poison is, isn't really advertised that much, um, but it's actually a really good range and has some really quality, long lasting perfumes in it. And it's a shame that it perhaps it doesn't get the attention it deserves. So the original perfume came out in 1985 and I think it is very much associated with the 80s, similar time to when YSL had opium out, like it's a very typical 80s perfume and I think it was a huge seller back then. It is a more traditional smell in that it's a woody, spicy, aromatic -y type fragrance. It has a huge amount of different perfume notes in here, which makes a really unique sort of overall combination. There's a fair amount of tuberose, which really comes through, but you've also got things like cinnamon and incense, coriander, anise, and there's also a bit of a sweetness in a fruity plum, but it does come across quite spicy. And it's not really heavy, but it's certainly not to be described as light. It's fairly good for lasting, I have to say. You can spray this on your clothes and your hair and it's gonna really help it last all day. Um, but I just think that as a fragrance, it is definitely more your traditional type. If you like sort of, oody, woody, incensey fragrances, then definitely try this. You might even find this a bit um, light for you. Um, but as far as those fragrances go, it is on the lighter side, but compared to most other fragrances and most other Dior fragrances, it is heavier. It has some similarities with Dior Addict, and um, just without the, the vanilla that's in Addict. It's certainly a sophisticated and classy scent. Like you could imagine someone wearing this to a very sort of posh event, sort of walking around Knightsbridge in London. You know, it definitely comes across as being expensive and classy. Times of the day, Personally, I'd say probably more nighttime and personally more like winter. But if you like this type of fragrance, then you would probably wear it all year round and any time of the day. Um, but just because it is that bit heavier, I'd say it's more for when the weather or the occasion is appropriate. But you could still wear this to work or anything. Um, you know, it wouldn't be inappropriate because it's not got really any sweetness or it's more sort of sultry and womanly than like sexy and in your face. So yeah, definitely work appropriate. So in addition to original poison, they also now sell an extract um, of poison, which is basically a really stronger version, like thicker version. Um, but it's got completely changed formula. So loads of the notes have been removed. Instead, there's just four notes. So it's tuberose vanilla, coriander and rose so if you're looking to get more vanilla then this is probably a better way of getting it than in original poison the tuberose is the dominant like it is in the original but having that rose and then the coriander is the spice rather than having incense and ambery spices in there so this definitely is a bit you know bit vanilla sweeter um warmer you, know, you can imagine wearing this on a very cold day it's a very warm version of poison and it comes in a cute little bottle as well. I have to say all the poison bottles I think are so cute. It's like something from a Disney film, you know, like a poison apple or this sort of thing of poison. You can imagine the evil queen having this on her dressing table and I think it's a really cool idea. So I love them all the bottles. So next one to mention is Hypnotic Poison. Now this came out a bit later in 1998 and this is, if you've seen me mention this in some of my other videos, 
This is one of the strongest and most long lasting perfumes I've ever come across from mainstream perfume brands. It lasts forever, it's super intense and I can smell this on people a mile away. Like it is so good for lasting. Um, really good bang for, like for your buck you only need one or two sprays and then that's you for the rest of the day like really impressive lasting this is basically an oriental vanilla so it's very similar to the one from Dolce and Gabbana but stronger and better lasting I'd say so if you want if you like the one maybe think about switching to hypnotic poison it's probably better value for money as well as vanilla it's got almonds in it's got coconut all those almost suffocating sweet notes they put all together it's really sweet i personally find it almost sickly sweet and i love sweet perfumes so for me to say that is very unusual i think it's because there's no like fresh raspberry or black currant or anything it's just this the super sweet like vanilla heavy almondy you know coconut's quite heavy note as well um but people that wear this you know it becomes you associate it with them it's very warm it's very um i think it's quite a sexy perfume very sort of moulin rouge appropriate in terms of daytime for me this is definitely a nighttime perfume i think it's way too much to be wearing during the day and i think in the summer months you know if it's hot it's, this is really going to feel suffocating so definitely more winter heavier version this is a heavy perfume um but if you love vanilla and you haven't tried this then you have to try it because you're going to love it and it even the eau de toilette um which is this the original is completely like not like an eau de toilette lasts really well there is then an eau de parfum which is a again like poison a simplified version and of course heavier they've added um a lot of licorice here so this is like a, it is a different smell it's more licoricey vanilla then almond tonka bean and some white florals so rather than that coconut you're getting licorice vanilla um licorice almond so you've got to like the coach to like this um but if you just want that vanilla-iness then stick with the original eau de toilette and don't worry about the fact it's an edt because it's still amazing at lasting so there were some other versions of poison brought out um after hypnotic poison there was a midnight one there was a green one those are all discontinued and pretty much impossible to find now so i'm not going to cover them here unfortunately they are gone and put to bed so in 2004 we got pure poison now this is an interesting white floral but as far as white florals go it's on the heavier side so it's jasmine gardenia and orange blossom with some woody notes cedar and some muskiness to it and um, the muskiness does come through but it isn't a musky perfume per se it's very white floral and you get a little bit of citrus in the initial spray but what i've noticed is again this is really good for lasting usually white florals can be a bit simple and can disappear after an hour or so this does stay on the clothes it stays on the skin um you know you wouldn't really need a top up during the day perhaps again at night or something um so it's very feminine it's quite clean i'd say um but it does have a presence and a dominance it is work appropriate i'd say it's day and evening because of that strength it would still stick up for itself in the evening around everyone else's perfumes um but it's still like clean enough and just simple enough to be worn during the day as well and to the office um so yeah really underrated and really not what you th when you think of white florals you don't think of dior poison um but yeah pure poison yeah really interesting one i find it oh, almost a bit overwhelming if you spray too many sprays of this which is crazy to say of a white floral um but yeah definitely try this if you haven't already and the bottle of course is really cool with that sort of pearlescent white but in 2016 we got a brand new poison um poison girl now this was very exciting to have a brand new addition to the range and girl is definitely the right name for this it is like a 
simpler, prettier, more innocent version of poison and specifically of hypnotic poison. So again, it has vanilla, almond and tonka bean in just like hypnotic poison, but it is not overwhelming and it is not super strong. It's much more like a normal perfume. Think black opium, think Lenoir Tresor, think Armani C, you know, this is like a typical mainstream smell, whereas Hypnotic Poison and Original Poison are much more like your very unique, strong smells. There's also an Eau de Toilette version of Poison Girl, which it, um, has some more of those modern notes like a caramel, like a sort of winter orangey, like a bitter orange note to it with the vanilla. So sweet, happy-go-lucky. I think, you know, if, if you were wanting to get a fragrance for a girl, you know, a young teenager or something, then, you know, this would be perfect. It's very innocent. Um, yeah, it's very girly version. Um, but perhaps if you just find the other poisons too overwhelming, then like this is more typical normal smell. In 2018, they then released Poison Girl Unexpected, which is like a zesty ginger version of Poison Girl. So vanilla and then blood orange and ginger really dominates. So if the Poison Girl Eau de Toilette was perhaps a bit light and pretty, then that gin ginger gives it a little bit of spice. Um, again, definitely like a fresh daytime summer perfume. Interestingly, it has hazelnut in and some cashmere as well. So um, those are very like comforting fragrances. So you could definitely keep wearing this into autumn and even into winter if you wanted, if you wanted a light winter perfume. You. Um, but yeah definitely I'm really light and compared to what you think of like when I think of poisons I think of very heavy intense perfumes but these poison girl range are not like any of the old po poisons so it's a bit of a juxtaposition really um, but yeah they're much more like cooler trendier moderner um, you know in line with all the modern Dior branding um, but the older ones are better for lasting and you know our signature fragrances that have been around for decades and will continue hopefully to be around for decades. So as with all the Dior ranges you can get um, rollables in some of these that fit in your pocket, uh, handbag and you can also get all the body lotions and products and the body lotions for hypnotic poison are really strong um, so you can even wear them instead of the perfume perhaps so definitely check them out if you haven't already. Um, but that's it guys so I hope you found this useful maybe we'll be getting some more poisons in the future who knows what's coming out from Dior um, but let me know what you think of the range if you found the video useful give it a thumbs up and do of course subscribe if you're not already i'd love to have you here but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye